my condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Alors, tout dans son tiens. Thank you. Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Allez, nous sommes entre amis. Je The Lady of Mysteries, the Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, yes, even my lover. Oh, yes. Oh, We enjoyed yes. each other's company. Body, mind and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. On pensait plus que Mistra. Il ne peut qu'à dire tant mieux. I think my methods. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Ah, oh, raconte, raconte. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured. And shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, What if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Hey, quel fut la réponse? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. 
As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Oh, une confession, déjà. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark. No! You see, <laughs> thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright, it was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb. For lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry. And it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Every waking moment. Every dreaming moment, too. But there was no way out. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Oh, tu peux rester. You'd have us debate that Netherese Jack in the Box should be a blip on the horizon by now. I'm in two minds. And frankly, don't care a great deal. Either decision is fine by me. Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact, it wouldn't be long before the Absolute overtakes me. I'd never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the Underdark as I possibly could, till they cloud my eyes forever. With a bit of luck, I'd manage to make it to a Mind Flare colony, so that when the orb erupts, one loud, last song of vengeance would reverberate through the dark wouldn't be a heroic end but coarsely poetic enough in its justice euh je suis désolé Gaël mais tu représentes trop grand menace il est temps de se dire adieu Gaël I harbor you no ill will in fact I enjoyed your company even throughout this harrowing journey of ours my tale is at an end but yours is not Beat that damn parasite in your head. Win the day and celebrate the nights. Bye, girl. Farewell. C'est déjà magicien. Anything of use? Et un ballet de points. Lire. N'ouvrez surtout pas le coffre avant de me le remettre. Relisez bien la première phrase. <rire> si vous l'ouvrez, je le serai, car vous ne survivrez pas. Ce n'est pas une menace, un... ce n'est pas une simple menace. Simplement ce... ce qui se passera si vous bravez mes ordres. Ok. D'après ce que je sais. Qu'est-ce que. Oh, c'est fait mal, on a tapé dans quoi encore là Ah Ah J'aurais peut-être dû se garder avant. Euh... 
Ouais, un peu mal là, je trouve. Euh... Par contre, moi je vais aller me poser un peu, je vais te Ah, mais pas de problème. Merci, moi je aussi. Assez, euh, je vais vous distraire pendant que vous vous reposez. Oui. Mais non, là on joue gentil là. Donc on va un peu, on peut envoyer. Pour forcer, pour vous forcer à prendre de la brave et à devoir de la chair fraîche. Ouais, là vous avez passé tous mes persos là pour cette discussion là. J'espère que je vais avoir un bonus. Hein. Euh, pour le moment. Vous le demandez, vous le Oui. Faut que je fasse deux. Je devrais pouvoir fonctionner. Ça devrait se faire. On a un alignol. Là du coup il va attaquer les... il va taper. Oui il va taper les méchants. C'est eux les Vas-y mon gnoll infernal, tape Mange-les 70% mais si je fais une flèche... Ok je suis vraiment pour rien. Hein non pas sur lui Pas avec la flèche... Et pas ce qu'il veut mon perso. Aïe, aïe, aïe. J'ai pris pas mal de dégâts après. Coup critique. Ah ouais, comme ça, tu fais un coup critique. Moi aussi, je fais un coup de critique. Alors, on va laisser de sauver. On va passer tout ce qu'il dit là. On est positionné tantôt. Oh, là, tu es quand tu vis. Et assassin c'est tellement fort Honnêtement je... Prochain perso ça va être un assassin <rire> Donc lui c'est fini Est-ce qu'on peut aller attaquer un, un coup de flèche Bah non pas de coup de flèche Pourri Nous sommes pourri tôt Raté quand même. A raté aussi. Ah tu l'as eu hein. Ah il récupère la pointe de vie. Ah on l'a eu, merci. Et ça, ça me donne l'invisibilité. Essaye de me passer derrière lui parce que sinon on va être... il va me pousser. Pour le prochain tour, il va voler. Ah ben non, il va pas voler, il va me tuer. <rire> Oi, Jacouille, ça fait mal, Louis. On va foncer du coup. Et il est où foncé J'ai bien foncé. Hein. Est-ce que je peux sauter du coup Oui T'attendais pas à ça, hein? Et la flèche dans le dos, encore moins. Eh bah si, il s'y attendait. Ah, bien sûr, tu mets la moitié de mes persos. Attends pas de. On va les sauver. Merci. 
Un petit plongeon, ça te dit On les a tous eu, on est un gnon avec.